we don't have anybody to come get us. So it's just, it's just a long day, very disappointing. Several passengers flying out of Pittsburgh through Allegiant Airlines are not happy tonight. A mechanical issue forced Allegiant to cancel their flight, leaving them stranded here for a day and a half when they were supposed to be in Florida. Yeah, passengers say they were completely left out of the loop on what was going on, and now the airline is doing some damage control. Money editor John Delano shows us how. Allegiant Airline left dozens of Florida bound passengers stranded at Pittsburgh International early Monday morning. We're here at 2 o'clock in the morning. Edward Snyder was one of those traveling on the discount airline, known for cheap fares but inconsistent service. It began late Sunday morning. We were supposed to leave at 5 p.m., got a text at 10.45 this morning, and told us that our flight was delayed until 11 p.m. Sunday night, the incoming flight to Pittsburgh was further delayed. They kept telling us there were, it would be here, it would be here, it would be here. The f plane finally pulls in. All along, passengers were told once here, Allegiant would turn the plane around quickly. After 1245, when the plane came in, and we thought, oh, finally, you know, we're not going to get to Florida until 3.30 in the morning. But then... At 1.23, they canceled. Turned out the flight crew had timed out or under FAA rules, had to rest before flying again. What angered passengers was the airline knew that and should have told them much earlier. I just wish they would have been honest with us up front. I wish they would have said to us, um, you know, the flight is going to be canceled. They knew that that crew was going to time out when it was in the air. They knew we weren't going to be able to, to fly out tonight. And I just wish that they would have been honest with us. A legion told me they, quote, sincerely regretted the inconvenience. Pittsburgh passengers were told to go home, while those more than 50 miles away were put up in hotels at 4 a.m. It just feels, it feels shady. The whole thing feels very shady. Now, the flight to Florida was rescheduled for 3.45 this afternoon and just left about 30 minutes ago. A legion did give every passenger $100 for their inconvenience, but it insists it communicated accurate information. Discount carriers do offer great fares, but they come with a catch. Unlike the major airlines, they do not have multiple flights to the same cities. So when there's a problem, passengers are usually stuck, at least for a while. Christine? Yeah, we've heard that problem before. Thank you, John.